Hi, my name is Daniel Texera. I drive a 2013 BMW M135R. I bought this car a few years ago with the intentions of one day going big turbo, which we've done. Um, I bought the car from an elderly gentleman uh, who was quite clean and in the process of the first month had uh, pure turbo and the car fully worked for racing. Uh, the first year we basically raced the car to get to the strongest M135 in the country, which it was. At the stage, which ran 11, 9, uh, on the 400, me uh, 400 meters. Then we blew pure turbo and decided to go big turbo. So with regard to the car, it's running a precision 60-62 ball bearing top mount turbo. Um, to my understanding, it's the only top mount in the country. And uh, more to behind the story of the car is I built it for a passion for to be different, unique, you know, in this country, we have a lot of stress, a lot of uh, busy days, you know, it's non-stop. So the car took me out of reality in a way. And uh, yeah, it put me more calm working on the car, doing the things I wanted to do, the vision I had, the goal I had for the car. Going into more detail about the car, she sits here on OZ uh, Alta Leggeras, the original wheels imported from Italy, uh, running wides and arrows, as you can see the concave in the rear. Um, it's a full end performance car besides the exterior, running Maxton front lip, Maxton sides, uh, end performance front grills, uh, Laminex headlights. Um, it's got end performance big brake upgrade kit from BMW, uh, wrap mirrors, end performance uh, back box. It's got end performance Recaro bucket seats from BMW. Um, it's got full end performance carbon interior and Alcantara, so everything, steering wheel, gear knob, door handles, dash, everything's been done to the end performance upgrade. Uh, within motor wise, we've gone with Precision 6062 turbo, ball bearing, um, Precision wastegate, tilt dump valve, BMS charge pipe, BMS intercooler, uh, front mount induction kit through the grill. Basically, everything's been done besides the motor. The motor stock. Uh, it's got XHP gearbox flash, uh, stage three for the big turbo. Um, yeah, literally everything you can think, think of being done, it's been done, literally just the motor stock. At 1.3 bar, uh, it's got made 410 wheel kilowatts, 1.9 made 493. Uh, on the wheels, we are running in currently a base map from Alim, uh, from HC Performance. Um, there's still a lot more potential in the car at high boost, but for daily we run 1.3 on the base map that it is on now. The reason why I got into the car scene, um, I come from a motorsport background with regard to racing superbikes, and so does my family. Uh, going all up to my grandfather, we race superbikes throughout the family, and we've always had the passion for cars. From my grandfather having the RX2s in the old days, to my father having RX7s, and then to me with the BMW. Now, I've had many modded cars before, but this is my longest car I've actually owned. Reason why I got into it is we all have insecurities about ourselves as humans. Everyone does. There's not one person that doesn't have insecurity. And when you do the car to the way you want it to be done in the car that you have, when you climb in that car and you drive it, you feel like another person. You feel that you're the person that you've always wanted to become. People look at you differently. People actually see you as a person with your car the way it looks, the things that you've done, people notice it, it makes you feel good about yourself. And everyone's got a great story from why they do it and why they're in the scene. So yeah, it's a passion, I enjoy it. We pull the car out for Sunday breakfast runs, we go to car shows, we talk to people, you know, people walk up to you, admire you, uh, admire your car, what you've done to it, and then you get into a big conversation and the next thing you guys are friends and that's how it goes out. The next thing you're making friends all over the place and it just becomes an awesome car community which is what South Africa has, and it's a growing community. Some people see vehicles as a form of transportation, and that is all they see the car as. The rest of us see it as a lifestyle. We wake up, we eat, we sleep, we drink, the thoughts and goals of about our cars.